Dustin Hoffman. The renowned actor was born on August 8, 1937 in Los Angeles, California. From his early days, Hoffman showed a keen interest in acting, leading him to pursue it as a career. His breakthrough role came in 1967 with the film The Graduate, where he played the character of Benjamin Braddock, which earned him an Academy Award nomination. Hoffman's career spans over five decades, and he has given numerous memorable performances in films such as Midnight Cowboy, Lenny, Tootsie, and Rain Man, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor. His portrayal of autistic savant Raymond Babbitt in Rain Man is considered one of the most iconic roles in cinema history. In addition to his work in films, Hoffman has also made significant contributions to television, including his role in the HBO series Luck and the critically acclaimed show Mad Men. He has also lent his voice to various animated films, including Kung Fu Panda and its sequels. Hoffman's work has not only entertained audiences, but has also inspired many aspiring actors. His ability to portray complex and nuanced characters has left an indelible mark on the film industry. Through his diverse range of roles, Hoffman has shown that he is a versatile actor who can adapt to any character he plays. Despite his numerous accolades, Hoffman remains humble and dedicated to his craft. He continues to work in the industry, leaving a lasting legacy for future generations of actors to follow. Dustin Hoffman is a legendary actor known for his diverse and impactful roles. Perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with this classic star. Do you recall the first work of Dustin Hoffman you watched? Maybe it was The Graduate, where he played a young man awkwardly navigating love in life. Or maybe it was Rain Man, where he portrayed an autistic savant with a heartwarming bond with his brother. We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to Dustin Hoffman. What's your most cherished experience with this iconic actor? Share with us in the comments below. Throughout his career, Hoffman has given us many funny, shocking, and even heartbreaking moments. So, keep watching this video to learn more about the man behind the memorable characters. Dustin Hoffman, born in Los Angeles in 1937, was the second of four children in a family that valued education and the arts. His father, Harry Hoffman, was a prop supervisor at Columbia Pictures, exposing young Dustin to the world of film from an early age. However, it was his mother, Lillian, who nurtured his passion for acting. She often took him to see plays and encouraged his creative pursuits. After high school, Hoffman attended Santa Monica College where he took his first acting class. He then transferred to the prestigious Pasadena Playhouse, but his traditional approach to acting was challenged by the unconventional methods of his instructors. Disillusioned, Hoffman left for New York City to pursue his dreams. In New York, Hoffman struggled to find work, often waiting tables to make ends meet. He studied at the actor's studio, honing his craft under the guidance of Lee Strasberg, a prominent acting coach who believed in the power of emotional truth. Strasberg's teachings would significantly influence Hoffman's career as he became known for his ability to fully embody his characters. During this time, Hoffman befriended fellow actor Gene Hackman, who introduced him to the work of renowned acting teacher Robert Lewis. Lewis's focus on the inner life of characters further deepened Hoffman's understanding of the craft. In 1966, Hoffman's career took off with his breakout role in The Graduate, which earned him an Academy Award nomination. Throughout his career, Hoffman has continued to challenge himself with diverse roles, earning critical acclaim for his work in films like Midnight Cowboy, Tootsie, and Rain Man. Hoffman's commitment to his craft and his ability to bring depth and nuance to his characters have made him one of the most respected actors in Hollywood. His early struggles and the guidance of influential mentors have shaped the actor he is today, leaving an indelible mark on the film industry. Dustin Hoffman is an actor known for his diverse and impactful roles. His filmography includes over 60 films and spans over five decades. In 1967, Hoffman's breakout role in The Graduate propelled him to stardom. He portrayed Benjamin Braddock, a recent college graduate who finds himself in a confusing and complicated romantic situation. Another must-watch film is Midnight Cowboy from 1969 where Hoffman played a struggling and sickly hustler named Razzo Rizzo. This film is notable as it was the first X-rated film to win an Academy Award for Best Picture. In 1976, Hoffman starred in Marathon Man, a thriller where he played a history PhD student who becomes entangled in a dangerous plot involving stolen diamonds and a Nazi war criminal. 
for those new to Hoffman's work, Rain Man is an excellent starting point. In this 1988 film, Hoffman portrayed an autistic savant named Raymond Babbitt, a role that won him the Academy Award for Best Actor. In 1997, Hoffman starred in Wag the Dog, a dark comedy about a political spin doctor and a Hollywood producer who fabricate a war to distract the public from a sex scandal involving the president. Another classic film from Hoffman's filmography is Finding Neverland from 2004. In this film, Hoffman played Charles Froman, a theater producer who helps Jam Barry create the iconic play Peter Pan. In 2012, Hoffman starred in Quartet, a comedy drama about a group of retired opera singers living in a home for musicians. Hoffman played the director of the home, Reginald Paget. Overall, Hoffman's filmography is a testament to his talent and versatility as an actor. Whether you're a fan of drama, comedy, or thriller films, Hoffman's work has something for everyone. As a young boy, Dustin Hoffman found solace in the world of cinema. He was drawn to the enchanting stories and complex characters that films presented. At the age of 12, he experienced a pivotal moment that solidified his passion for acting. Hoffman's family took him to see the classic film The Jazz Singer, which showcased the powerful performances of legendary actor Al Jolson. As the actor sang and emoted on screen, Hoffman was captivated by the raw emotion and energy that Jolson brought to his role. It was in this moment that he realized the profound impact that acting could have on an audience. From that day forward, Hoffman dedicated himself to the craft of acting. He began performing in school plays and community theater productions, honing his skills and developing his own unique style. Despite facing numerous obstacles and setbacks, Hoffman remained committed to his passion, eventually becoming one of the most acclaimed and respected actors of his generation. Throughout his illustrious career, Hoffman has brought countless unforgettable characters to life, from the anxious and insecure Benjamin Braddock in The Graduate to the fiercely determined Ratsa Rizzo in Midnight Cowboy. Each performance is a testament to his unwavering dedication to his craft and his deep love for the art of storytelling. In the end, it is clear that Dustin Hoffman's passion for acting was ignited at a young age and has only grown stronger over time. His enduring legacy is a testament to the power of the creative spark that drives us all to pursue our dreams and share our gifts with the world. In 1988, Dustin Hoffman won the Best Actor Oscar for his portrayal of Raymond Babbitt in Rain Man. His former roommate, Gene Hackman, was also nominated in the same category for Mississippi Burning. When Hoffman won, he embraced Hackman and acknowledged him in his speech, although he mistakenly overlooked his co-star, Tom Cruise. Later, he rectified this oversight and thanked Cruise, referring to him as his brother. The actor had previously acquired the film rights to Edward Bunker's novel No Beast So Fierce for his own company, Sweetwall Productions, and starred as Max Dembo in the subsequent film, Street Time. Many viewers questioned the casting of Teresa Russell as Jenny Mercer, believing she was too young and attractive for the role. However, she had previously worked with Hoffman's contemporaries, Robert De Niro and Jack Nicholson in The Last Tycoon, which may have influenced her casting. Dustin Hoffman, a highly regarded actor, faced numerous challenges on his path to success. Born in 1937 in Los Angeles, Hoffman struggled financially early in his career. To make ends meet, he took on various jobs, such as working as a pianist and a typist. Despite these hardships, Hoffman's passion for acting never wavered. In the film industry, Hoffman encountered skepticism due to his unconventional looks. Producers often deemed him not handsome enough for leading roles. However, the actor refused to let this rejection define him. Instead, he used it as motivation to hone his craft and prove his worth. Hoffman's resilience paid off when he was cast in the groundbreaking film, The Graduate in 1967. His portrayal of the disillusioned college graduate Benjamin Braddock catapulted him to stardom and challenged conventional beauty standards in Hollywood. The actor's determination to succeed, despite the odds, is a testament to his unwavering commitment to his craft. Hoffman's ability to overcome financial struggles and industry skepticism serves as an inspiration to aspiring actors and a reminder that success is possible with hard work and perseverance. In the film Kramer vs. Kramer, Dustin Hoffman, who won two Best Leading Acting Academy Awards for this movie, and Rain Man delivers a powerful performance as Ted Kramer. Alongside him is Meryl Streep, also a two-time Best Leading Actress Academy Award winner 
who won Best Actress in a Supporting Role for this movie. Hoffman's ability to embody diverse characters is further showcased in Tutsi, where he plays Michael Dorsey, a struggling actor who disguises himself as a woman to secure a role in a soap opera. This experience led Hoffman to confront his own sexist perceptions of women. In Rain Man, Hoffman takes on the role of Raymond Babbitt, an autistic savant, alongside his real-life son, Jake Hoffman, who plays the boy at the pancake counter. This classic film highlights Hoffman's exceptional talent for portraying complex characters with authenticity and depth. In the early days of Dustin Hoffman's career, his role in the 1966 off-Broadway play marked a significant breakthrough. This role showcased his ability to portray complex characters and caught the attention of directors and producers. A pivotal moment came in 1967 when Hoffman starred in the film The Graduate. His portrayal of the aimless Benjamin Braddock resonated with audiences and critics alike, earning him his first Academy Award nomination. Mike Nichols, the director, praised Hoffman's performance, stating he had a quality that was exactly right for the part. He was extraordinary. The year 1979 brought another breakthrough for Hoffman with his role in Kramer vs. Kramer. His nuanced portrayal of a father fighting for custody of his son garnered critical acclaim and won him his first Academy Award for Best Actor. Robert Benton, the film's director, noted Dustin's performance was so raw and real that it moved everyone who saw it. In 1988, Hoffman took on the role of autistic savant Raymond Babbitt in Rain Man. His portrayal challenged stereotypes and showcased his versatility as an actor. The film won four Academy Awards, including Best Picture, and Hoffman's performance was widely praised. Barry Levinson, the director, stated, Dustin's performance was a revelation. He brought a depth and humanity to the character that was truly remarkable. Throughout his career, Dustin Hoffman has continued to challenge himself and his audience, delivering captivating performances in films such as Tutsi, Wag the Dog, and Meet the Fockers. His contributions to the world of film are cherished, and his impact on the industry is enduring. Dustin Hoffman, an esteemed actor, has faced challenges in his personal relationships. In the 1980s, his marriage to his first wife, Anne Byan, ended in divorce. The couple had two children together. Later, Hoffman married Lisa Gottsigen, with whom he has four children. The actors' relationships have not been without controversy. In 2017, Hoffman was accused of sexual harassment by several women, including the writer Anna Graham Hunter. The allegations date back to the 1980s when Hoffman was working on the set of the TV show Death of a Salesman. Hoffman has since apologized for his behavior. Apart from his personal relationships, Hoffman has faced struggles in his career. In the early 1960s, he struggled to find work as an actor. He took on various jobs, including working as a waiter and a typist. However, Hoffman's persistence paid off when he landed his breakthrough role in the 1967 film The Graduate. Throughout his career, Hoffman has been open about his struggles with mental health. In a 2012 interview, he revealed that he had been diagnosed with depression and anxiety. The actor has spoken publicly about the importance of seeking help and breaking the stigma surrounding mental health. Despite the challenges he has faced, Hoffman has had a successful career spanning over five decades. He has won two Academy Awards for his roles in Kramer vs. Kramer and Rain Man. Hoffman has also been nominated for six other Academy Awards. In conclusion, Dustin Hoffman's life and career have been marked by both personal and professional struggles. From his relationships to his mental health, Hoffman has faced challenges head-on and emerged stronger. His contributions to the world of film are enduring, and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Dustin Hoffman, a highly regarded actor, is known for his immersive method acting style. He once stated, I think the most exciting thing for an actor is to create a character that becomes a part of the audience's life. This is evident in his diverse range of roles, from the anxious and naive Benjamin Braddock in The Graduate to the determined autistic savant Raymond Babbitt in Rain Man. Hoffman's approach to acting is deeply personal and introspective. He once spent a year living as a woman to prepare for his role in Tootsie's Heat, demonstrating his commitment to authentic character portrayals. This dedication to his craft has resulted in some of the most memorable and impactful performances in cinema history. The actor's personal experiences and worldview often shape his roles. 
for instance, his tumultuous relationship with his father influenced his portrayal of Carl Bernstein in All the President's Men. Similarly, his own struggles as a young actor finding work in New York City resonated with his character in Midnight Cowboy. In his later years, Hoffman has continued to challenge himself with complex roles, such as in the HBO series Luck and the film The Mayor of Its Stories. His unique approach to acting, marked by deep immersion and personal reflection, has left an indelible mark on the film industry and continues to inspire aspiring actors today. In the film Tutsi, Dustin Hoffman, playing the character Michael Dorset Orthy Michaels, offered valuable advice to his co-star Gina Davis. As a mentor, he warned her about the potential pitfalls of romantic involvement with co-stars, suggesting a clever response to fend off unwanted advances. Years later, Davis used this tactic on Jack Nicholson, who was impressed by its ingenuity. Hoffman's influence extended to the script of Outbreak, where he and Maya Angelou contributed uncredited work. However, much of their effort went unused in the final version. In All the President's Men, Hoffman's portrayal of Carl Bernstein resonated deeply. A television documentary, All the President's Men Revisited, was produced 37 years after the film's release, featuring Hoffman alongside co-stars Robert Redford, the real Bob Woodward, Carl Bernstein, and Ben Bradley, among others. The documentary earned a 2013 Emmy nomination for its insightful exploration of the actual events depicted in the film. Dustin Hoffman's impact on the film industry is significant and far-reaching. The actor, known for his versatile performances, has influenced trends, techniques, and storytelling in Hollywood. His breakthrough role in The Graduate challenged traditional leading man stereotypes, paving the way for a new generation of actors. Hoffman's ability to embody complex characters has left an indelible mark on cinema. According to Peter Travers, Rolling Stone's senior film critic, Hoffman's commitment to his craft and his willingness to take on challenging roles has pushed the boundaries of acting and inspired countless performers. In Midnight Cowboy, Hoffman portrayed a vulnerable and desperate character, which resonated with audiences and critics alike. This role showcased his range and further solidified his status as a leading actor. Throughout his career, Hoffman has chosen roles that explore the human condition's complexities. In Tootsie, he tackled issues of gender and identity, while in Rain Man, he delved into the world of autism, garnering critical acclaim and awards for his performances. Director Barry Levinson, who worked with Hoffman on Rain Man, commented on his impact, stating, Dustin's ability to find the truth in every character he plays has raised the bar for actors and filmmakers alike. His contributions to the industry are immeasurable. Hoffman's influence extends beyond his on-screen performances. As a producer, he's brought thought-provoking stories to the screen, further solidifying his role as a trailblazer in the industry. In conclusion, Dustin Hoffman's commitment to his craft, versatility, and willingness to tackle complex roles have left an enduring impact on the film industry. His influence on storytelling and acting techniques continues to resonate with both industry professionals and audiences alike. In the 1978 film Straight Time, Dustin Hoffman took on the role of Max Dembo, a career criminal trying to go straight after his release from prison. This classic was produced by a partnership between Sweetwell Productions, owned by Hoffman himself, and First Artists, a company co-owned by Paul Newman, Sidney Poitier, Barbara Streisand, and Steve McQueen. Later, in 1971, Dustin Hoffman starred in Straw Dogs as David Sumner, a mild-mannered American academic who moves to England with his wife and becomes embroiled in a violent conflict with the locals. The screenplay for this film was developed by David H. Melnick, Sam Peckinpah, David Zellig Goodman, and Dustin Hoffman, as well as ABC Pictures Corporation head Martin Baum. In the 1995 film Outbreak, Dustin Hoffman played the role of Sam Daniels, a military virologist trying to prevent a deadly virus from spreading across the United States. This classic boasts an impressive cast, featuring four Oscar winners Hoffman, Morgan Freeman, Kevin Spacey, and Cuba Gooding Jr. throughout his career. Dustin Hoffman has proven himself to be a versatile actor, taking on a wide range of roles in various films. In Straight Time, he portrayed a criminal trying to turn his life around, while in Straw Dogs, he played a meek academic pushed to the brink of violence. In Outbreak, he embodied a dedicated military virologist. These diverse roles demonstrate Hoffman's talent and range as an actor. Dustin Hoffman, the renowned actor, is known for his dedication to his craft 
and his commitment to various causes outside of his professional sphere. Born on August 8, 1937, in Los Angeles, California, Hoffman has had a long and successful career in film and television. Hoffman's personal values and interests often inform his work, as he tends to choose roles that challenge societal norms and push boundaries. For instance, in the classic film The Graduate, Hoffman portrays a young man who feels disillusioned with society and questions the traditional path of marriage and career. This theme of challenging societal expectations is also present in Hoffman's work in Tootsie, where he plays an out-of-work actor who disguises himself as a woman to land a role on a soap opera. In addition to his work in film and television, Hoffman is also passionate about various philanthropic efforts. He has been involved with several organizations over the years, including the Lab School of Washington, a school that serves students with learning disabilities. Hoffman's own experiences with dyslexia have fueled his passion for this cause, and he has been a vocal advocate for the rights of individuals with learning disabilities. Hoffman has also been involved with the Worldwide Orphans Foundation, an organization that aims to improve the lives of orphan children around the world. He has served as a board member and has traveled to various countries to visit orphanages and advocate for the rights of these children. Furthermore, Hoffman has been a longtime supporter of the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. He has participated in various fundraising events and has used his platform to raise awareness about the disease. In conclusion, Dustin Hoffman's personal values and interests have greatly influenced his work in the entertainment industry, and his dedication to various philanthropic causes has made a significant impact on the lives of many. But Dustin Hoffman has left an indelible mark on the film industry. Two of his films, Brain Man and All the President's Men, have been recognized by the American Film Institute as some of the most inspiring movies of all time. In Rain Man, Hoffman masterfully portrays an autistic savant, while in All the President's Men, he and Robert Redford bring to life the story of the Watergate scandal. In addition to his on-screen work, Hoffman has also made an impact behind the scenes. The actor's portrayal of Max Dembo in Straight Time left such an impression on author Edward Bunker that he dedicated his follow-up novel, No Beast So Fierce, to Hoffman. The novel was later adapted into a film, with Hoffman reprising his role as Dembo. Hoffman's influence even extends to the world of music, during a dinner with Paul McCartney, the actor shared the story of Pablo Picasso's death and his famous last words. Inspired, McCartney immediately began playing an impromptu chord progression on his guitar and singing the quote, resulting in the song Picasso's Last Words, a highlight of the band on the Run album. These stories are just a few examples of the far-reaching impact that Dustin Hoffman has had on the entertainment industry and beyond. Dustin Hoffman's legacy in the film industry is marked by his exceptional versatility and commitment to authentic performances. Spanning over five decades, the actor's career has seen him excel in a wide array of roles, from the anxious young Benjamin Braddock in The Graduate to the determined autistic savant Raymond Babbitt in Rain Man. Hoffman's ability to fully embody his characters has left an indelible mark on cinema. He once stated, I think the most liberating thing I did early on was to free myself from any concern about how I looked. This commitment to authenticity has allowed him to bring depth and nuance to each role, making his performances truly memorable. Throughout his career, Hoffman has been a strong advocate for the power of storytelling. In his view, storytellers hold the power to shape humanity. He encourages aspiring professionals to approach their work with passion and integrity, emphasizing the importance of staying true to one's artistic vision. Reflecting on his own journey, Hoffman once shared, I am not interested in preserving my image, I am interested in being real. This dedication to authenticity and storytelling has not only solidified his status as a legendary actor, but also provided a shining example for future generations of artists. As Hoffman looks toward the future, he continues to support emerging talent and champion the importance of artistic expression. With his unwavering commitment to the craft, there's no doubt that his influence will endure, inspiring aspiring professionals for years to come. In the movie Hook, Dustin Hoffman took on the role of Captain Hook, but with a twist. To accommodate his right-handedness, the hook was placed on his left hand instead of the traditional right. This change went unnoticed by many, showcasing the actor's ability to fully embody a character, regardless of physical differences. Coincidentally, Hook was the first of two films where Hoffman worked with composer John Williams. 
The second film was Sleepers, released in 1996. Their collaboration on Hook resulted in a memorable soundtrack that added depth to the story and the characters. In Straight Time, Hoffman portrayed Max Dembo, and although he received an uncredited directing credit, he did not direct any scenes. During pre-production, Hoffman realized he couldn't handle both directing and acting duties. Trusting his vision to a friend, Ulu Grosbart, allowed Hoffman to focus on his performance, resulting in a critically acclaimed portrayal of a complex character. Dustin Hoffman, an actor known for his unforgettable roles, began his journey in the entertainment industry with a passion for storytelling. In 1967, he first gained recognition for his role in the film The Graduate, which resonated with audiences and showcased his ability to portray complex characters. Throughout his career, Hoffman has consistently pushed boundaries and taken on diverse roles, from the title character in Rain Man to the charming yet devious con man in Tutsi. His innovative approach to acting has left an indelible mark on the industry, inspiring countless other actors and filmmakers. In addition to his work in film, Hoffman has also made significant contributions to television, including his role in the critically acclaimed HBO series Luck. Despite facing challenges and setbacks, including the cancellation of the show after only one season, Hoffman remained committed to his craft and continued to deliver powerful performances. One of Hoffman's most enduring legacies is his ability to bring complex, flawed characters to life in a way that resonates with audiences. Through his work, he has reminded us that even the most seemingly ordinary individuals can be fascinating and multidimensional. The power of creativity and perseverance is evident in Hoffman's impressive body of work. His ability to innovate and push boundaries has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, inspiring future generations of actors and filmmakers to do the same. Known for his high standards as a drama teacher, Dustin Hoffman brought his demanding approach to his own acting. In the 1982 film Tootsie, Hoffman's encounter with John Voight at the Russian Tea Room inspired a memorable scene. While developing the character Dorothy, Hoffman often ventured into public as a woman to see if he could convincingly pass. During one such outing, he encountered Voight, who remained oblivious to Dorothy's true identity. In Hook, Hoffman's portrayal of Captain James Hook showcases his ability to imbue even villainous characters with depth. The negotiation scene between Hook and Tinkerbell mirrors the haggling and pretty woman between Julia Roberts and Richard Gere's characters over money and time. Hoffman's skill in both films lies in his ability to navigate complex relationships, revealing the humanity within characters often reduced to stereotypes. After portraying the character of Ratso in Midnight Cowboy, Dustin Hoffman had concerns that the film could negatively impact his career. His agent, in an attempt to improve his public image, pressured him to star in John and marry alongside Mia Farrow. In Rain Man, Hoffman played the role of Raymond Babbitt, a character with autism. There's a notable connection between this film and Jerry Maguire, where Tom Cruise's character is offered coffee by Bonnie Hunt, just as Hoffman's character was in Rain Man. The way Hunt offers coffee in both films creates a subtle link between the two characters played by Cruise and Hoffman. Years before their successful careers, Hoffman and Gene Hackman met at the Pasadena Playhouse during their first month there. Hackman left after three months to pursue stage acting in New York, while Hoffman continued his studies. Despite their different paths, both actors would later achieve great success in the film industry. In the 1979 film Kramer vs. Kramer, Dustin Hoffman gave a memorable performance as Ted Kramer, earning him his fourth Academy Award nomination. The movie also starred Meryl Streep, who won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress, and Justin Henry, who was nominated for Best Supporting Actor. The film focused on the emotional struggles of a divorcing couple and their young son. Hoffman's ability to convincingly portray real-life characters was also showcased in the 1976 film All the President's Men. To prepare for the role of Carl Bernstein, Hoffman spent several weeks observing reporters at the Washington Post newsroom, even being mistaken for a copy boy at one point. By contrast, Jason Robards, who played Ben Bradley, only spent one day in the newsroom before nailing the character. The actor's impact on the industry was recognized in April 2005 when he received a tribute from the Lincoln Center. Over the years, Hoffman has proven himself to be a versatile and dedicated actor, bringing to life complex characters that resonate with audiences. Dustin Hoffman had expressed interest in playing the role of Shylock in the 2004 adaptation of The Merchant of Venice.
However, by the time he contacted director Michael Radford, Al Pacino had already been cast for the part. In addition, Hoffman's dedication to his craft was evident when he visited the author of the source novel for Straight Time, Edward Bunker, in prison to discuss making the novel into a film. His enthusiasm, along with excellent reviews, even prompted the authorities to release Bunker early. Moreover, the actor has also faced personal challenges. In 2013, he was treated for skin cancer. These facts demonstrate Hoffman's unwavering commitment to his craft and his ability to overcome obstacles, both professionally and personally. His contributions to the film industry continue to resonate with audiences, leaving a lasting impact. Despite the challenges he has faced, Hoffman's dedication to his work remains unwavering, making him a respected figure in the world of cinema. The legacy he has built is a testament to his talent and perseverance. In a recent interview on Bravo's What Happens Live, Meryl Streep was asked to choose between Robert Redford, Robert De Niro, and Dustin Hoffman, deciding she would marry Redford, shag De Niro, and unfortunately, kill Hoffman. This statement might come as a surprise to many, considering Hoffman's remarkable contributions to the film industry. One of Hoffman's most iconic roles was as Ratso in Midnight Cowboy, a film that released in 1969. Interestingly, the actor was chosen for this role based on an off-Broadway one-man show called a in 1965, showcasing his early potential. Fast forward to 1976, Hoffman took on the role of Ted Kramer in Kramer vs. Kramer, a performance that earned him an Academy Award for Best Actor. This classic film delved into the complexities of divorce and its impact on a child, a topic that still resonates today. In 1977, Hoffman starred in Marathon Man, where he played the character Thomas Babe Levy. During the promotion of Little Fockers in 2010, Hoffman shared an anecdote about his co-star Lawrence Olivier on The David Letterman Show. Apparently, Olivier had asked Hoffman, why don't you try acting? To which Hoffman responded, why don't you try acting? At the time, Hoffman defended his actions by stating that those were the days of Studio 54 and many drugs, making staying awake a challenge. This anecdote highlights the different approaches to acting that Hoffman and Olivier had. While Olivier was a more traditional actor, Hoffman was part of the new wave of method actors who would live their roles. This approach allowed Hoffman to bring a unique sense of realism to his characters, making his performances all the more impactful. In conclusion, Dustin Hoffman has left an indelible mark on the film industry with his nuanced and compelling performances. Even if Meryl Streep would choose to kill him in a hypothetical scenario, there's no denying the enduring legacy of this accomplished actor. In the film Kramer vs. Kramer, a memorable scene was improvised by Dustin Hoffman and Justin Henry, who played father and son. The scene, where Billy challenges his father by skipping dinner and going straight for dessert, was kept in the film due to its authenticity. Hoffman also had input in the film Straight Time. He wanted the beginning to follow the book, showing his character, Max Dembo, in prison with a young boyfriend and basically running things. This contrast would then highlight how little he has once on the outside. In Tootsie, Hoffman's character, Michael Dorsey, is forced to wear a dress and pretend to be a woman. The idea came from a conversation where Hoffman asked the director, Sidney Pollack, why his character had to do this. Pollack's response was that if he didn't, he would never work again. Hoffman, not convinced by this, insisted that he wouldn't believe a fellow actor, but would believe the director. After Pollock refused to play the part, Hoffman sent him red roses every day until he agreed to take the role. In preparation for his role as Michael Dorsey in Tootsie, the actor, Dustin Hoffman, watched La Cage Ox fall several times and visited the set of General Hospital for research. He also underwent extensive makeup tests to accurately portray a woman. During the filming of Kramer vs. Kramer, tension arose between Hoffman and co-star Meryl Streep. The actor was initially wary of Streep's abilities, feeling that he was being upstaged by the newcomer. This tension came to a head during the filming of the restaurant meeting scene, when Streep suggested changing the dialogue. Hoffman became furious, but later came to respect Streep's dedication to the film. Hoffman was also considered for several roles in Woody Allen films including Play It Again, Sam, The Front, Hannah, and her sisters, and Deconstructing Harry. Despite the challenges faced during filming, Hoffman's dedication to his craft shone through in his performances, earning him critical acclaim and a place in cinema history. 
the actor's ability to fully immerse himself in his roles, as seen in Tootsie and Kramer vs. Kramer, is a testament to his talent and commitment to his art. In Straight Time, Dustin Hoffman was originally set to direct, but after a few days of filming, he decided to step down and hire Ulu Grossbart. At the time, Hoffman was a relatively inexperienced actor, having never appeared in a film before The Graduate. In fact, he didn't see any of the dailies during production and had never seen himself on screen until an early screening of the finished film in Southern California. Later in his career, Hoffman took on the role of Mumbles in Dick Tracy. To prepare for the part, he wore a bald cap, wig, and rubber eyelids, lips, and chin. While having his makeup applied, he used the time to practice his lines for his role as Shylock in the London and Broadway productions of The Merchant of Venice. Makeup artist John Caglani Jr. commented on Hoffman's antics during this time, saying, We had a real drama class. He was riotous. Throughout his career, Hoffman has proven himself to be a versatile and dedicated actor, always willing to go the extra mile to fully embody his characters. In the film Lenny, Dustin Hoffman took on the challenging role of Lenny Bruce, a controversial comedian. To capture the essence of Bruce's shows, director Bob Foss filmed Hoffman performing his act in several Miami nightclubs in front of real audiences. This approach added authenticity to the film and allowed Hoffman to fully embody the character. In Straight Time, Hoffman played the complex lead role of Max Dembo, a career criminal trying to go straight. When the actor decided not to direct the picture, he passed the responsibility to friend Ulu Grossbart. This decision allowed Hoffman to focus solely on his acting, resulting in a powerful and convincing performance. Before becoming a successful actor, Hoffman worked as a lemonade vendor in playhouse lobbies. This humble beginning served as a stepping stone for the actor, who would later become a household name. These examples illustrate Hoffman's dedication to his craft and his ability to bring complex characters to life on the big screen. In Rain Man, Dustin Hoffman delivered a notable performance as Raymond Babbitt, which became his second highest grossing live action film at the domestic box office, only surpassed by Meet the Fockers 16 years later. In Marathon Man, Hoffman portrayed Thomas Babe Levy, a role that brought him together with Roy Scheider, both having previously worked with director Bob Foss and Lenny, and all that jazz, respectively. Behind the scenes of Marathon Man, some interesting facts emerge. Sir Lawrence Olivier, who played Shell, had trouble with the large switchblade design for his character, often failing to make the blade come out. Additionally, several actors were seen imitating the unique speech patterns of producer Robert Evans, with Hoffman incorporating this imitation into his performance in Wag the Dog. As one of the most celebrated actors of his generation, Dustin Hoffman has left an indelible mark on the film industry. From his breakout role in The Graduate to his powerful performance in Rain Man, Hoffman has consistently delivered nuanced and captivating portrayals that have resonated with audiences worldwide. Throughout his career, Hoffman has tackled a wide range of characters, showcasing his incredible versatility and dedication to his craft. His ability to fully embody each role, from a young man struggling with identity to a middle-aged father grappling with mental illness, has cemented his status as a true icon of American cinema. Beyond his on-screen work, Hoffman has also made significant contributions behind the camera, directing and producing a number of critically acclaimed films and television shows. His creative spirit and passion for storytelling have helped shape the entertainment landscape for decades, inspiring countless other artists to pursue their own dreams. As we celebrate Hoffman's incredible career, we want to hear from you. What are your favorite roles from this classic actor? Do you have a particular film or show that resonates with you? Share your thoughts in the comments below and join the conversation. And if you enjoy this content, be sure to like and share it with your friend and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment.